Well, hey guys, it's finally time for me to update you on the fantastic Korean and Japanese body care products I've been trying out over the past several months. Now, everything I'm gonna be reviewing in today's video, you can actually find on Stylevana. It'll be linked in the description box. Today's video is kindly sponsored by Stylevana. If you aren't familiar with Stylevana, they're basically an online one-stop shop for all of the trendiest Asian beauty products. They aim to bring a wide range of affordable beauty products worldwide. Wide. Plus, they're always sharing amazing tips and the latest beauty secrets. If you use my code INF10 Dr. Dre, you can save 12% off your order. But if you spend over 39 US dollars, my code will actually get you 24% off. It's quite a substantial savings. Now, Stalvana has also recently launched these different kit sets catering to different skin types. They're called the Vana Family Kit Sets. These sets are a great option for pretty much any skincare lover. They're also great as a beginner's guide or part of just an everyday skincare routine. Stalvana also has launched these bundle kit sets that are gonna be including the products I'm gonna be talking about in today's video. And you can get a discount off of both the Vana Family kit sets and the bundle kit sets using my code. And I'm gonna link these in the description box below, so definitely check there. All right, let's get into it. First of all, you guys, the Kumano Cosme Tweety Baby Moisture Oil. Oh my gosh. This is the product I have been searching for. It is basically a baby oil, but in contrast to the baby oils you come across in the stores here in the US, there's no fragrance. So what the heck is actually in this? Well, it is mineral oil. Mineral oil is king when it comes to tackling dry skin conditions. You're gonna encounter many myths circulating on social media regarding the safety of mineral oil. However, rest assured, mineral oil is actually one of the safest things that you can put on your skin. It's a really really large molecule and it has limited penetration into the skin. It basically sits on the top of the skin. And for this reason, this is exactly why it is such a good option for moisturizing because it really traps moisture in the skin. In contrast to other types of oils out there, mineral oil is really, really stable and resist degradation and oxidation. It has been a mainstay in dermatology for the treatment of numerous dry skin conditions. Now online, especially, it gets a bad rap as being poor cloth but if you actually dive into the dermatology clinical research, um, it's really not truly comedogenic. And in fact, mineral oil has been shown to be helpful for acne patients. Acne is a condition characterized by comedone formation. Now, the Tweety Baby Moisture Oil also has sodium hyaluronate. That is a humectant that can aid in replenishing moisture in skin's outermost protective layer, the stratum corneum, ultimately improving barrier function reducing dry skin. It also has arginine in it. Arginine is a natural moisturizing factor made by your skin with the intent of improving water content in the skin. It holds onto moisture there. It's hygroscopic. In addition to the mineral oil, the Tweety Baby Oil also has squalane, a really lightweight emollient. This is a great product to use once you get out of the shower to the skin to soften and moisturize dry skin. But it also can be used before the shower to help break up the film of water resistance sunscreen, sort of like almost a double cleanse, if you will. You know water-resistant sunscreen can be pretty stubborn to wash off. The other way in which I advocate utilizing oils like this in your skincare routine is for tackling rough, flaky skin to help exfoliate it. The oil will slip between those mounds of stuck-together corneocytes that are heaped up there and help them to gently lift up and shed and desquamate, aka exfoliate, leaving the skin soft and smooth. Next up, though, is a body wash for those of you with dry and or sensitive skin, although honestly, it'd be a great option for anyone out there. It is the Cow Curel Intensive Moisture Care Body Wash. Now, when it comes to using body wash, okay, uh, you only need a quarter size amount at most, at most. Many people make the mistake of using too much body wash and it can get trapped in the skin folds, not get rinsed off thoroughly, and that can break down the skin barrier and contribute to dry skin and skin irritation. Um, it's all about the body wash formulation. You want a formula that is going to effectively remove dirt, debris, uh, residue without stripping away skin's moisture barrier. Now, what I like about this formula is not only is it gentle, but it is free of fragrance as well as other common skin irritants and common skin allergens. The formula lathers
matters really easily. It's very gentle, it's very mild, rinses off the skin easily. It also has dipotassium glycerizate, which comes from licorice root. That compound can be very soothing to the skin. It's anti-inflammatory. Now it does have eucalyptus extract, probably for some preservative function. The eucalyptus extract, does not impart any sort of aroma to it, but if you are sensitive, be aware that that is in there. I found that this product alone efficiently removed water-resistant sunscreen from my body. However, in addition to trying it by itself and getting good results, I also really enjoyed uh, pairing this with that Tweety baby oil sort of as a double cleanse for the body. I know many of you out there deal with acne breakouts, acne on the chest and the back. So a go-to acne fighting ingredient is salicylic acne. Acid. Salicylic acid loves to localize within the pore to uh, break up and exfoliate clogged pores, comedones, helping to clear and prevent acne breakouts. And salicylic acid can be really effective for tackling acne breakouts in the on the body in either a wash form or as a leave-on a product. Now, the Kobayashi B Cura Acne Care Spray for back and chest is a salicylic acid leave-on product in a spray bottle. It's for easier applications to hard to reach areas like your back. It also has allantoin in it, which is anti-inflammatory and skin soothing. Now, a word of warning about this formula, it does have alcohol. Alcohol can be drying. Alcohol helps the formula be fast absorbing, not feel greasy on the skin, but for some people they do find it is on the drying side. That being said, I never really had any issues with this being drying whatsoever. Unfortunately, I could not find anywhere online uh, what the percentage of salicylic acid is in this product. I'm going to make an educated guess that it's somewhere in the range between 0.5 to 2 percent. Um, but honestly, I, I genuinely don't know. So how do you use this product? You want to make sure you spray it on the skin uh, that's clean. So when you get out of the shower is probably a good time to use it. Pat the skin dry of any visible drips or water, and then go ahead and spray like to the decollete area, the upper back. One thing I really like about this product though is the dispenser. The, the spray nozzle is actually really easy to work. It works upside down, which is how you're gonna be using it to spray the back, and it's easy to depress. I've tried other sprays, salicylic acid body sprays, and sometimes it can be kind of hard to press down on. Um, now, other benefits of this type of spray with salicylic acid when used consistently, the salicylic acid can be very beneficial for controlling seborrheic dermatitis, which if you aren't aware, not only happens on the face, but also happens on the body. Now, if you live somewhere that's humid, like a tropical climate, and you really struggle with skin conditions related to malassezia, such as seborrheic dermatitis, or tinea versicolor, or malassezia folliculitis, um, salicylic acid can actually be beneficial for controlling those things because of its gentle exfoliating properties, as well as the fact that it's anti-inflammatory. Speaking of acne, breakouts, I tried some body washes targeted for people with acne prone skin. The first is one I revealed in one of my skincare favorites recently. It's the Sewn By Me AHA BHA PHA 30 Days Miracle Acne Clear Body Cleanser. So in addition to salicylic acid, which is great for exfoliating the pores and tackling breakouts, this also has mandelic acid and alpha hydroxy acid that's super gentle at exfoliating the skin as well as improving moisture retention in the skin. Um, and it has lactobionic acid. Now, lactobionic acid is a polyhydroxy acid. Polyhydroxy acids have a great reputation for not only being very gentle at smoothing the skin surface and gently exfoliating, but also they deeply hydrate and alleviate dry skin conditions. A word of warning though, this body wash does have fragrance and the scent is a bit strong. So be aware of that, especially if you're allergic to fragrance, this would not be for you. Um, now, this has tea tree extract in it. I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with tea tree oil. Tea tree oil does show promise for acne, for psoriasis, seborrheic dermatitis, and certain fungal infections. It has antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory compounds with it. However, allergic reactions to tea tree oil are common and can be a real issue for people. Now, this risk is less of an issue in skincare products, especially such as this, where they're using tea tree extract rather than the oil. Where you really run into more issues is when people are using tea tree leaf oil, say they buy at the health food store and they're putting it directly on the 
the skin, it can really cause some adverse skin reactions, especially if the oil is old, it's been exposed to a lot of light, the compounds in it start to degrade and can become very irritating. All in all though, I really, really have liked this body wash uh, a lot. It rinses off the skin easily. And I have noticed that my skin feels uh, softer and smoother, likely a result of the exfoliants, the salicylic acid, the alpha hydroxy acid. I mean, it's geared to those of you with breakout prone skin. However, if you're someone who gets rough and bumpy skin, like on the chest, the back, the buttocks, you might want to try this body wash for the skin smoothing properties. Now, it also has um, compounds from centella, such as maticasoside, as well as extracts from the heart leaf plant, which, um, you know, these may have anti-inflammatory properties. We know maticasoside from centella is soothing. Now, I also tried another body wash, the Wellderma Heart Leaf Acne Zero 3-in-1 Body Wash. This likewise has fragrance, a similarly strong scent. It has that tea tree aroma in it, if you know what I mean. Um, so just be aware of that. It has tea tree extract similar to the Sewn By Me body wash. It also has heart leaf plant extract. Um, this has salicylic acid. It doesn't have alpha hydroxy acid or polyhydroxy acid. So it's a salicylic acid wash. Um, I was a little skeptical actually of this at first because I noticed it had alcohol in it, which is kind of unusual in a body wash. As I said, alcohol, it's not a bad ingredient. It helps with ingredient stability and formulation. Um, and consistency. However, it can be drying. That being said, I did not find this body wash to be the least bit drying whatsoever. In fact, it's actually very, very gentle. You know, a testament to the fact that you can't predict how a product is going to go just based on ingredients. It has panthenol and very mild surfactants. So it is a gentle formula um, that cleanses, removes impurities, excess sebum without stripping the skin of uh, its natural moisturizing factors. Again, not only would this be helpful for those of you with acne prone skin on the chest and back, but also those of you who are prone to conditions related to malassezia. Malassezia yeast thrives in oily, humid conditions, and some people's immune response reacts negatively. They get rashes like tinea versicolor, and also, you know, seborrheic dermatitis, malassezia folliculitis. Salicylic acid is also great for those of you who deal with post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Now, speaking of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, I can't believe I've made it this far without talking about one of my favorite things, sunscreen. A Japanese face and body sunscreen I love is the Omi Verdeo UV Moisture Gel. This is an SPF 50 PA4 plus sunscreen. It's technically a hybrid sunscreen, meaning it has both inorganic, aka mineral sunscreen ingredients, and organic, aka chemical sunscreen ingredients. It has titanium dioxide, as well as Juvenal A+, Juvenal T150, Octinoxate, and Tinnosorb S. Now, while it has titanium dioxide, I find, in my experience using this, I get no white cast. That might be different for you if you have a deeper skin tone. There's no fragrance in this formula. It's super fast absorbing, it's non-greasy, and in contrast to other sunscreen gel formulas, there's actually no alcohol in this. Again, alcohol is not a bad ingredient, helps with ingredient stability, quick dry formulas, but some people find it drying. The other thing I love about this is the pump bottle. I really think that encourages frequent reapplication, which when you're outdoors, reapply, reapply that sunscreen at least every two hours. I also happen to think that this sunscreen is a great option for hair bearing areas like the beard, the mustache, though it does have titanium dioxide, which might leave a bit of a white residue. But overall, the formula I think is a great one. If you're someone who wants something really lightweight, not greasy, I think you're really going to like this. Uh, it doesn't feel heavy on the skin whatsoever, and it's actually decent recently moisturizing as well. I want to talk about some products with one of my favorite underrated ingredients, urea. Now, urea is a natural moisturizing factor naturally found in your skin. It's hygroscopic and it helps improve the water content in skin's outermost layer. And when it comes to skin barrier function and normal exfoliating, the name of the game is moisture content. Now, one thing about urea and skincare products, it can help replenish moisture in dry skin, but at percentages greater than 10%, urea is actually keratolytic, meaning it gets in there and it really dissolves the glue between stuck together dry skin cells and helps to exfoliate them, smoothing out the skin surface. So it's a great ingredient to pursue if you're someone who has rough and bumpy skin because it really gets in there and dissolves those dry, rough bumps. It's also great for the hands, the feet, for dry, cracked callus. Speaking of hands and feet, urea is wonderful as well for your nails, for the health of the nails. Now, I discovered this urea hand cream from Stylevana. The name of the product is the Shiseido Urea 10% Hand and Foot Cream. In addition to 10% 
20% urea, again, a keratolytic strength that has hyaluronic acid, a humectin, and it also has petrolatum as well as mineral oil to reduce water loss from the skin. And it has dipotassium glycerizate. That's a compound that comes from licorice root and is really good for soothing the skin and calming down redness and irritation. So it's a great product to help combat dry, cracked hands and rough fingertips. To be honest, I haven't used it much on my feet, but their urea in this formula definitely can get in there and help to exfoliate dry, cracked heels. That being said, you wanna be careful when it comes to using urea foot creams, especially, or hand creams too frequently. If you're someone who works with your hands, Hands, or you run, you walk a lot, you're putting a lot of repetitive friction, you actually need a little bit of callus, and so you don't want to overdo it with urea because you might end up getting blisters. So I've been using the hand cream daily and it, it doesn't cause problems for me, but if you're someone who does a lot of weightlifting, you might want to alternate the urea hand creams with just a basic fragrance-free petrolatum hand cream or one with dimethicone in it, um, and only use the urea a couple of times a week for the dry cracked fingers, the hands, so that you're not overdoing it. For my feet, I've actually been using a foot cream from one of my favorite Korean skincare brands, Pyongkang Yul. Their foot cream does have urea. They don't disclose the percent, but just to be conservative, I'm gonna assume it's at a keratolytic percent. So again, be a little cautious with frequency of use to make sure you're not getting into blister territory. You know, for me personally, I tend to get a little bit lazy, a bit rushed at night and neglect my feet. And I had gotten myself into a situation situation where my feet were looking a little crusty. You know what I'm talking about, flaky. And I have been using the Pyongkang Yule foot cream now for several months. I've really seen noticeable improvement just after a few weeks. What I like to do is I put this on in my feet after I get out of the shower while the skin's still a bit damp. And then for a real intensive experience, I like to cover with petroleum jelly and then socks to really seal in those beneficial compounds into that thick stratum corneum of skin's outer most layers, very thick on the bottoms of your feet. Um, this product also has ceramides and cholesterol, which are good for skin's lipid barrier. It's got emollients like macadamia seed oil. It has sunflower seed oil. It also has olive oil. Olive oil by itself on the skin actually can increase trans epidermal water loss, but when it's in a product with other moisturizing ingredients, that doesn't seem to be an issue. And olive oil, you know, it's got antioxidants, anti-inflammatory compounds in it that theoretically could be a benefit when applied to the skin. The product overall though, it has a very lightweight consistency. I've also used it from time to time for tackling rough elbows and knees. Speaking of rough elbows though, this Kobayashi brand, the Kobayashi B Cura Pore Care Ointment uh, is a 20% urea uh, product. So we're talking keratolytic strength here. I like the texture of this. It's actually kind of slimy and slippery, but I find that it goes on, it absorbs, and it sinks into the skin without leaving any kind of greasy, sticky residue. I've used it a lot actually on my upper arms and my elbows. It gets rid of rough and bumpy skin, rough, discolored elbow, you know, thickness on the elbows. Um, now, I proceeded with caution, but it is actually indicated for use on the face. I mean, that's how it's marketed. Urea products can sting on the face, especially, and especially at 20% strength. So I did a little test spot, didn't experience any issues with it, and I have used it off and on to my face, and I find it does smooth the skin surface, and it, you know, it's easy to tolerate on the face for me. So if you're someone who has rough and bumpy skin on the cheeks, you might wanna try this out. Again, do a test spot first, make sure it's not irritating to you, but that urea can definitely get in there and soften and exfoliate those rough bumps. And this product is fragrance-free. Overall, it's a pretty no-nonsense formula. It's a really small jar, but you actually don't need very much at all to get a good thin layer. Uh, you don't need more uh, product to get the same results. All right, and then last but not least, uh, was actually a bit of a fail for me. It is the Derma B Fresh Moisture Lotion. Now, I have to say, this is a super lightweight body moisturizer. It's actually quite remarkable how quickly it absorbs into the skin. So if you're someone who likes to use body moisturizer in the morning, but you don't want uh, residue getting on your clothing, you might wanna try this. It's very lightweight, but for me, it just didn't quite meet my expectations for what I personally am looking for in a good body moisturizer. I like a richer cream. That being said, this product does have ingredients to support the needs of skin's moisture barrier, including natural moisturizing factors such as arginine, also has fatty acids and cholesterol, which are really helpful for reducing water loss. It has panthenol, which is very moisturizing, and it has hyaluronic acid, a 
barbecue magnet for improving moisture content. Now I know that this brand actually has a body cream that is fragrance free, so I might need to try that out next. It sounds more in keeping with my liking. So let me know if you guys have tried that. All right, y'all. So that is the review of all of the Korean and Japanese body care products that I've been trying out over the past several months. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, that it was educational in terms of functional ingredients and in skincare, learning about some exciting Korean and Japanese skincare products. Again, if you are interested in trying anything that I have mentioned in this video, definitely check the description box, use my links and my code. It will save you guys quite a bit off of your orders from Stalvana. Thank you, Stalvana, again for sponsoring today's video. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.